Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Algebra 2, Chapter 8, Section 4 in this book. And we're going to be talking about logs and not the kind you burn in your fireplace. Math jokes. They're few and far between. we got to cram them in when we can, whether they fit or not. All right. So these are called logarithmic functions, log for short. And what does that mean? Uh, it's this. We know that 2 squared is 4, and we know that 2 to the third power is 8. But what would you raise 2 to to get 6? We can do it with logs, okay? And so first of all, I'm going to explain to you where it comes from. Does it matter? No. So, um, you can do this without understanding where it comes from. But there are certain kids that if they don't know where it comes from, they will not learn it. Their brains have to know why. They're the kids who sit there going, why, why? This is why, okay. So it's that we have inverses here. If you have a base to the x power, then uh, it equals y. Now, if you do it as a log, it would be log to a base, y equals x. It is this question. It's the question, what, if you, if you take base 2, and we know that if you raise it to x, you get 6, you can find out what that x is by doing log. Logs and exponents are another way of sort of looking at their opposites in a way. You can, they're not so, they're inverses. So it turns out we can cancel them out, which is fun. Um, this will make sense the more I show you. Okay, so here's an example. Two, what power do we raise two to to get four? We raise two, so this is writing it a different way. The, the base is two, the answer is four, what is the power we're going to raise it to? Now, turns out we could do it on our calculator, which I'll show you in just a second. And then this was our original question. What do we raise two to to get six? And we can do both of those using our calculator. So this is how you do it. Log base to 32. What do you raise 2 to to get 32? Okay. So what do you raise 2 to to get 32? Now, how you do it on your calculator is go to the button that's ironic that says math. Use your up and down arrows right here. And I go up because it's shorter. It's only like two presses to A, and you will see log base beginning parentheses. TI 82s and 83s can't do it. That in your book assumes you have an 82 or an 83. So, but you're going to use your calculator. These are calculator problems, and this is how you're going to do it, okay? So we're going to do this math. We're going to go up to A. We're going to select log base, and then we're going to put in, it will give us a little place to put in in our calculator. It'll say log, and then there'll be a little blinking thing here, and we're going to put 2. And then we're going to arrow over and put 32 and hit enter, and it should say 5. So everybody, if you have to pause it, do it. So what we're doing is 2 to the 5th power is 32 is writing the inverse of this one. Those are, uh, you're writing the inverse there. Now, then I want you to go back on your calculator and do it again and do log base 2 of 4, and you should get that that equals 2, because 2 squared is 4. Then I want you to go back on your calculator and do log base 2 of 6 and see if you get something around 2.6. Okay, uh, then I want you to do this one on your calculator, log base 5 of 1 is 0, and log base 10 of 10 is 1. So do all of those and come back. Welcome back. Okay, now, turns out you have a button on your calculator that says log. That is, for that button, log is log base 10. So whenever it's log base 10, it's a shortcut and you can use the log button. Also, if there is no log base written, that's a shortcut, it's an understood 10. They used to only give kids 10s because they didn't have they didn't even have 82s or 83s back in the 80s when I did this. So they so it was hard to do it if the base was not 10. So they would give you most problems with 10, and that's why 10 became the understood one because it's the easier ones. You do you can see log base 10 to 10 is one, and uh, so 
and that means 10 to the first power is 10. This means 5 to the 0 power is 1, which you should know. Okay, so here's some more. I want you to try all of these on your calculator. Log base 10 of point 0 0.1, you can do it with the log button. And I want you to do it with the base button. I want you to practice and make sure you get negative one. And notice that you can even do halves, log base one half. That'll have to be under the math button. Uh, log base one half of two equals negative one. Do all of those. Now we've got some specials. If you have the, a log of any base of one, it's always zero. So you try log base 20 of one, zero. If you have log base and the, and the number here is the same number, it's always 1. So try it on your calculator. Log base 20 of 20 is 1. To get the inverse of a log, um, like they ask for it, then you can go back to this formula and see that the base is that, so it goes here. The exponent is the x, so it goes here, and y is y. But and there's another inverse example I want you to skip. I don't think you're quite ready for it. But the, the, I'll show you the shortcut. Really, what you do is you just mark out everything but this 9x, and that's the answer. You mark out all of that, the answer is 3 to the x. Do you see that? The inverse is always just uh, the base and the number right there. And I guess you should say equals y. Okay? So get rid of the word log. Okay, you can also cancel out. Yeah, be, remember I told you exponents and logs are kind of opposites, they cancel out. So if you have a number raised to the power of log that base, you get to mark them all out and the answer is 2. It works the other way too. Here I have log base 3 of 9 and 9 is 3 squared. So I rewrote it as 3 squared and what do I get to do? Mark it out. Whoop! The answer is 2x. I think these are fun and easy. Okay, how about that one? Uh, 16 is 4 squared. I've got log base 4, 4, so I go whoop and mark them out. It's more fun with sound effects, and it's lots of fun to mark out math. So all of those are great. Love them. Okay, so ln is natural log. It's a log where the base is e. You have a button on your calculator you will use. So sometimes it's written like this, log base e, but it's this is how it's normally written. The other button on your calculator is log, so it is log base 10, but all the others where it says log base, it's L-O-G, it's also not the natural log, it's called a common log, but I like to call it the unnatural log. Ooh, makes it sound spooky, doesn't it? The unnatural log. Um, so I want you to do every example, every one, on your calculator that you can. These are calculator problems, including the graph. So graph it, you just you hit that log and it'll pop up there. You go to math, you go to y equals, you go to math, you go to uh, a. Then you put in your base of one third, arrow over and do x minus one, and whoop, there it goes. Graph it and then you trace for your points. And notice that it has the asymptotes too. You can see that this is definitely related to the exponents. The graphs are the same, aren't they? So the shift. Whatever is in parentheses with x is the horizontal shift, the opposite sign. The plus out by itself is the vertical shift, and it's the same sign, k okay, for vertical. Okay. So how about this one? What do we do? We have a base, log, same base. We mark them all out. The answer is x. I love marking out. All right. I hope you have lots of fun with this. I think it's terrific fun math. It's very fancy. You look very smart doing this. You are smart, and math is great.